Wednesday, friends. Are you ready to grow your faith? I hope so because we have got another very exciting episode for you today with a story, a craft, some singing. I just can't wait to get started. Today, we are outside in nature. I don't know about you, but one of the things I love to do is watch the birds. We even went out and we bought a birdhouse. This is a house for bluebirds. And supposedly, if you put these out, bluebirds will come and live and nest and have babies. I think that will be so cool. So we've got to hang this up. But you know what? Birds don't really need our houses and our food for them. You know, I put food out for my birds. I love to have them come to my bird feeder. But the Bible tells us that God takes care of the birds. How cool is that? He even says that God takes care of the plants. The Bible says, hey, look at the plants. They don't worry about what they look like, and they're dressed more magnificently than kings and queens. There's some pretty beautiful flowers out there. I've seen purple ones and pink ones and yellow ones this year. They are beautiful. He says the same thing about the birds. He says, look at the birds. They don't worry about what they're going to eat or where they're going to live. He says, God will take care of them. So our story today is, friends, we don't have to worry about things. God's going to take care of us. He watches over the birds. He watches over the flowers and the little bunnies and the, the little uh, critters that are running around in our backyards. And he loves each and every one. And how much more does he love us? Isn't that a great feeling? God loves us. And God loves all of the things that he has created. All right, are you ready for a video? Here we go. This is thankful. Don't worry. This is Jesus. Hey -oh! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus did many amazing things. He taught everyone about God's love, healed people from their sickness, and even calmed storms. One day, Jesus was speaking to thousands of people. Hey, Jesus! When someone asked him about money, he told them a story and tried to explain to the people that our treasure is not on earth, but in heaven. Then he turned to one of his disciples and said, That is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food to eat or enough clothes to wear, for life is more than food, and your body more than clothing. Uh, yes. Look at the ravens. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, because God feeds them, and you are far more valuable to God than any birds. Uh, yeah, I think so. Do you think that by worrying about anything, you can add a single moment to your life? And if worry can't do a little thing like that, what's the use of worrying over bigger things? That's a good point. Look at all the lilies and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing. Yet Solomon, the great king of Israel, in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for flowers that are here today and thrown away tomorrow, He will certainly care for you. And don't worry about what to eat or what to drink. Hey, okay. Many people worry about these things, but God already knows what you need. Seek the kingdom of God above all else, and He will give you everything you need. So don't be afraid, for it makes God happy to take care of you and give you His kingdom. So share what you have with others and give to those who need. There you go. Thank you. Sorry, hi. Then you'll be storing up treasure in heaven. And when your treasure is in heaven, it's going to be safe. No thief can steal it. And no bug can destroy it. Man, whatever. Wherever your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Creatures of our God and King 
Welcome to Craft Time. This week, we're going to have Josie show us how to make a bird feeder. You have a kit that was inside your craft kit from New Way, and it has everything in it that you need. So, and the instructions are on the back. So, you start with your base and your four walls. Two of them are shorter and two of them are longer. Just make sure that the two shorter sides go across from each other and the two longer sides go across from each other. She's going to show you that they're a little bit shorter. Okay? And then you just glue them on the side of your base with the glue that was in the kit. Now she has the four walls onto the base and she's going to put the post that holds up the roof in the middle. And then you add the roof to the post. You might have to hold the other side at the same time. Get the other part of the roof and put them on at the same time. Now she has the roof on. So all you have to do is work together, hold it until the glue dries just enough and then once the glue is completely dried, you're going to use this little tiny metal piece. It's called an eyelet and you screw it in the top and then you will put the string through it to hang it in your yard. So have fun making the bird feeder. Work together as a family and then put some bird seed in it and enjoy watching the birds. See you next week. Bye! Friends, today is probably my favorite of all time for our tips to help our kids grow in their faith. And let me tell you, this may help you too. 
Today's topic is the power of praise. And by that, I'm talking about the music that we listen to. Nothing soothes the soul more than a favorite song or music that we like to listen to. Um, it just, if your kiddos suffer with anxiety or um, just some uh, sadness or anything like that, boy, I tell you, music just chases away those blues. And I just encourage you really to uh, get into the practice of playing some positive praise music uh, in the car, uh, before they go to bed, anytime they're feeling anxious, and really go to that praise music. For little kids, there's so many songs that are great. One of my personal favorites, my God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Such a great song. If you got a kid that's small, to be able to remember that God is big and strong and mighty and nothing can stop you. There are other songs too. The hippo song, Jesus Loves Me. That's an oldie but a goodie that really is the entire gospel in a song. Great songs to teach your kids. If your kids are a little bit older, maybe Days of Elijah is a favorite one. I know at church, Trading My Sorrows. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. That takes some practice, but it's a fun one. Or The Great Adventure. We also have songs that are so meaningful uh, it, when you're in high school and even as adults. Uh, God Only Knows by King and Country. Um, Dive, Crowns and Thorns, Matter, there's Oceans. There's uh, just so many songs that, you know, are important to us. Uh, songs that we sing in church. Uh, many of those songs you can just look up and uh, put them on a playlist. Have that in your car all the time. Uh, just set your heart praising. It is amazing what that can do as a boost to your faith, helping you to grow and helping to calm your soul. So friends, put that into practice this week and I know that you and your kids will grow in their faith.
that I made in my past Man, sometimes they hold me tight But you're breaking the chains, are always by me And if they hold me back, you're right behind me So I keep my eyes on the sky when I'm praying Cause I know you bring the sunshine when it's raining Hey, hands up, I'm waiting for the breakthrough Everything